This week in Come Follow Me, we talk about Elijah. Now, Elijah was a man who lived in a time in the world where there were some wicked prophets who were teaching things that were incorrect about the gospel to people that he loved and cared about. And so a way that Elijah proved to him that God was real and that he loved us was to have fire come down from heaven and hit an altar. And this took great faith from Elijah to do this. And I think it shows to us how important it is for us to have faith in the Lord, even when the people around us don't. So let's get to drawing. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and get started drawing this altar. I think this one's gonna be really fun because you can draw this altar however you want. People stack rocks in all kinds of different ways. But to help to, to put them in a place that we want, we're gonna do a couple things. But first, let's draw the top of the altar. And to do that, I'm gonna pick somewhere kind of in the middle of my page. You could draw your finger on here. Maybe make two dots to say, maybe I wanna go from right here to over here. So I'm going to do a dot right here, and then I'm going to do another one right here. And this helps me know where I want to draw my line to. So I'll start from one end and go over to the other. And it doesn't have to be perfect because rocks aren't perfect. They're all kinds of shapes, and sometimes they bend a little bit. And then we're just going to turn this into a, a thin rectangle. So you can draw two more little lines down and then follow your other line all the way across. And so this is the top of the altar. Now to do the rest of the altar, we just wanna be able to stack up a whole bunch of rocks here. And to help me decide where I wanna put them, I can create some dots down here on the ground. One down here and maybe one over here. And then I can imagine lines right here and, and then I know that I wanna keep all the rocks in this area. And this is the one of the fun parts because you can make your rocks look like whatever you want. Rocks come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, but you can stack them up however you want. So I'm gonna just start drawing some rocks and you can see that you can make them all kinds of shapes and sizes. And I'm just gonna try to keep all my rocks in this area. You can put rocks where I put mine or you can do a different amount of rocks. You can stack them nicely. But this first rock, I kind of put a curve on here. I put it flat on the bottom. Maybe I want to put another rock. If you go a little bit outside of your area, that's okay too. And maybe you want to do a really big rock. But it's kind of fun because you just feel like you're stacking them all up. And building this altar to show your faith Maybe I'll do a really long one. Or maybe you even want to stack them like bricks. That's okay too. But you can see how you can just put all kinds of different shapes in here. Maybe you even want to do kind of like a triangle one. Here, I'll put a triangle one there. Have you ever seen a triangle? Once my sister found one that was shaped like a heart that everybody in our family thought was really cool. And if you want to, in these little gaps, you can just color them in dark. I think this is gonna be a real fun drawing. And it'll be fun to see how everybody stacked their rocks differently. All right, and sometimes that one, I just needed one line, and that just filled in the rest of the area. So that's my altar. Maybe if you want to, you could even put a couple extra rocks out here on the ground somewhere that maybe they ended up not putting on there. That's totally up to you, because this is your altar. You can make it the way you want. And now we're gonna do the next really most favorite part of mine, and I think you guys are gonna really enjoy too, and that is making fire. Fire can be so much fun because it twists and turns. If you've ever been camping, I always find it really fun to just watch the fire. I can watch it for hours. 
And so to do this fire, there's so many ways to draw fire. I've seen lots of people, they just do a whole bunch of zigzags, which is really cool, or you can make it look kind of curly. Um, for the picture I'm gonna do, I'm thinking that when Elijah called down this fire from heaven, it probably came from the sky and came down and hit and made a big burst. So this fire I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to make it look kind of like it's bursting, like it's hitting the altar. And you don't have to do it like that if you don't want to. Maybe it already hit and it's just burning because this is your imagination and you can imagine this story the way you like. So I'm just gonna start on the side and I'm gonna probably do some small zigzags right here and maybe some bigger ones and then I can do some smaller ones. But I'm gonna kind of go out this way like that. So I have one little one right there. And then maybe on the other side, I can do a little one. So it looks kind of like horns, right? Like on a bowl. But now I can do some big ones too. And I'm just gonna kind of connect them all together. Look at these big zigzags. I'm excited to see what your zigzags look like. But see, now I have like this big, it looks like a big hairy top on top of here. Like all of you's got spiky hair. Now we can make it look like it's coming down by just having some fire shooting down in lines. And one thing that you can do is you can put two dots on the top of your paper really close together, like that, like two little eyes. And then to make them come out further, you can put some dots maybe down on your fire, right here and maybe right there because you want it to go wider, because then it just looks like it's coming from up in the sky. Because sometimes when you look up in the sky and something's way up there like a jet, it looks really small. But as things get closer to us, they get bigger. So that's kind of what I'm doing right here. So I'm just going to draw some lines to connect my dots here, just like that. And then maybe draw some more lines in it. You can draw them fast or slow, just like that. And then a lot of times in fire, when it's flaming up, sometimes little parts break off like this. So you can maybe draw them kind of like little leaves, just like that, so maybe some fire spurting up. So this is my finished drawing. Let's go ahead and start coloring it. All right, so as we know, there's all kinds of colors of rocks. Some people have red rocks in their backyard. Some people have gray ones, blue ones, green ones. Every color of the rainbow, there's colors of rocks. You can color this altar whatever color you want. And while we're coloring it, we can maybe talk a little bit about the story of Elijah. I'm gonna do blue for my first rock and you can do them all different colors. I'm probably gonna pick a couple of them and make them blue. So I'm gonna start making this one blue. And why I'm coloring things like this, I like to think about the stories and it gives me some time to think about, you know, the things that Elijah did. Because I imagine that it was really hard to stand up against all of those wicked priests of Baal and decide to do something different and to decide to do what God wanted him to do. Because sometimes when everybody else wants to do something wrong or different than what God commands, it can be really hard to be the one person who has enough faith to do the right thing. And I think that's one of the real cool things about this story of Elijah. So you can see I'm just coloring a few of these rocks blue. Maybe I'll do one of these little ones on the ground blue. Now I'm going to pick another color. See, I think I'm going to pick this purple one. Sometimes when you look at mountains from a long ways away, they look purple. If you live in a place that has mountains. I think this looks really pretty. So one thing you can think about while you're doing this, or what are some ways that I can have faith in the Lord? The Lord 
has promised to bless those who have faith in him, just like Elijah. And maybe just for some real fun, maybe I'll make some of these rocks even pink. Because one of the fun thing about drawing pictures is we can make them however we want. We can pick our own colors. We can just have a lot of fun with it. And then we can hang up these pictures in our room or give them to somebody as a gift and tell them this story about Elijah. All right, so I'm gonna take a darker blue too and maybe fill in some more of these rocks. Do some of these ones on the outside. And I got a couple rocks left. Maybe, maybe we could do a couple green ones. That's a real bright altar I made. I'm pretty sure it didn't actually look like this. But this is mine, and I thought this would be fun. It's fun to make things with lots of pretty colors, especially if you're giving this to somebody as a gift. Now, one last thing we can do is we can color in this fire. And you can use multi, you can use a lot of different colors. You could use reds or yellows and color it in the way you like. One thing sometimes I like to do is in the center of my fire, maybe do a different color than the outside part of it. And you could draw some lines in there if you want to, do some more zigzags inside of it, inside of the ones that you already have. So I'm gonna do that. You don't have to do that. But then I can just go in and I can fill all this in with my orange color. And one thing that I just thought of that maybe you guys want to do if you color this again or make another picture, or if you haven't colored all of your rocks, is you could even put some water on here because when the Lord lit this altar on fire, Elijah put a whole bunch of water on it just to make sure that what was happening was the Lord and not him, like it wasn't some kind of trick or something. Because how could an altar that was doused in water possibly start on fire? So I think this really amazed the priests of Baal that this happened. And when this happened, all of a sudden, all the other people that were watching, they believed in God again. So Elijah did a really amazing thing for a lot of people because he had faith when nobody else did. All right, so then if we want to, we can maybe fill the rest of this in yellow is what I'm gonna do. Or red is sometimes a fun color. Sometimes with these markers, you have to make sure that you don't color into the orange area because sometimes the, the orange will get on your yellow marker. So it's okay if you have a little bit of white space in between your orange and your yellow. Or maybe you're coloring this with crayons. You can use colored pencils or paint or whatever things that you like to use to make your art. I'd love to see what kinds of stuff you imagined, how you made your rocks and what colors you used. All right, so this is my finished picture of Elijah's altar. Let me show you some that some other kids made. So I've got a few others here. I've got four separate pictures of Elijah's altar. And I think they all look beautiful. You can see that different artists chose to do different things. On this one, I think it's really fun because it looks like a lot of this blue stuff might be the water for when the fire came down and hit it because he put that water on it just to make sure that the power was coming from God and nowhere else. And here you can see a little bit of water too. And I love this one because this one has all these rectangles here. This makes it look like a strong, sturdy structure. And this one has even the little hearts. Remember I was talking about sometimes you can see heart-shaped rocks. And I've seen all kinds of shapes of rocks. I've seen them shaped like animals and squares, any shape that you can think of. And this one, this looks like a big fiery explosion. I think all of these are so beautiful and they're so unique to each person. 
And I think they all help to tell that story about how important it is for us to have faith in the Lord, even when nobody else around us is. I hope to see you next time. I hope you had a lot of fun drawing these. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.